What's up everyone, welcome to Profit Trader. So today exactly I am going to talk about this Allies Blue version 2 API. Okay. So I think if you have an account with Allies Blue, uh, you are getting a mail uh, like you know they are telling you to uh, migrate to the new version of API because their older version have, be, have been restricted and uh, there is a lot of conflict is there uh, between your olden version of uh, ant application and new version of ant application okay so say suppose if you are utilizing their uh, api you need to stick uh, with uh, the version old version of app as well as uh, website to trade if you get in with the new version and you try to trade then definitely like you know log in and log out and especially the access token issues will arise okay to avoid all those things uh, they have been like you know given the time limit as well like you know 15th september as i say uh, thursday they told you know to migrate uh, for each and everything okay so google out okay you will get this allies blue rest api documentation okay but if i am talking about this api documentation and if if, if i follow their process especially if i say and i like you know you have to go with allies blue and web application then profile and security settings maybe uh, you know this things is uh, you know kindly different uh, you know looking session uh, for like you know if you have to follow these things i am unable to uh, get where i have to like you know uh, get my api key and uh, you know to do all those stuff uh, so usually uh, the things are not available so i must say that you can from this video you can follow up things which is like you know simple manner and uh, some of the things as per there uh, like uh, for the new api they have been moved and uh, for that the base url will be a a3.alliesblueonline.com okay so these things one more thing which you can follow which is like you know import request and import json so i think you have to where exactly like you know uh, request is a library where, exa where exactly we can communicate with uh, our uh, website whatever the website is there which is a3.alliesblueonline.com okay so we can communicate with them and get whatever looking for so base url is a3.alliesblueonline.com and url which is uh, you have to give over there okay so you can follow these things and can try by yourself okay and uh, another simple process is that uh, that you can uh, like you know uh, go with the python you can just uh, pip install pi a3 and you can like uh, you know uh, download library their python library and follow some of uh, like you know their uh, uh, their explanation there uh, they have been given some explanation where you can follow how you can get started with the api so about 3.7 uh, you are looking for so it should be greater than that one so i must say that i have been already done a video regarding uh, uh, your uh, installation of 3.10 uh, install okay pi a3 and each and everything will get installed so this is how you can install each and everything and after that it will be very much simple just copy paste and you will get whatever the things you are looking for okay uh, but i must say that you know from the documentation it is very much hard to follow maybe you can get the details some of the things which you can uh, get but i think if you do it in python it is like uh, uh, you know uh, the structure which you will get you can follow from that one and you can turn in their uh, documentation uh, page i just tried it out uh, like you know checking all those things which are available so i find it out this as mentioning this their official python sdk for allies blue okay so sdk means software development kit for allies blue api so i thought maybe i'll give uh, like you know a check so i just checked it this things and it is uh, working wonderfully and one more thing is that i just uh, tried this in virtual environment so suppose if you earlier if you are following uh, this allies blue older version so i can't conflict with the new version so i tried in my virtual environment when i get it comfortable with the things i installed mainly in my uh, python okay so now easily i can call this from pi a3 import star and i can do uh, whatever i feel like so each and everything whatever they have mentioned it is the same you can refer in older version of allies blue uh, github pages it is same so outer structure you can say it is one and the same even change the structure for each and everything 
just have to check like you know some of the things which i must say that uh, while getting this instrument for fno there were no exchange exchange were not there but here we have to mention the exchange so smaller details you need to check okay and uh, only if it is required just change it so for order placement uh, it might be each and everything is same you don't have to do anything even uh, getting the instrument uh, symbol is is best so that is also you can follow uh, uh, getting their inner details it it is uh, i must say that it is different from that you can like you know you check once api documentation and even you can print the statement so you will get all those things okay so you can follow so uh, right now i must say that you know you can visit my channel okay which is profit data and uh, the playlist will be there so i have been done already enough videos which you can watch so for the outer structure you can refer their videos and i have been given a detailed explanation like some of the few changes if you do it it is good to go so right now I so uh, i must say that uh, say suppose if you are getting with your website which is a3.alliesblueonline.com so this will be your website where exactly we will place the order and get each and everything details so you can watch your pnl you can watch your orders okay you can watch your positions okay you can watch your holdings okay so after all, each and everything you can uh, check it out here and here where exactly by left side if app is there click on that one so we get to know where exactly things are available so if you click on this api key you will get that api key now while generating this session id you need to be logging in this things so if you are already logged in it is good to go okay so you just have to like you know if you run this a uh, code where exactly will be there i will show it to you uh, we are like you know get the session id and we can do whatever we want okay so now what happens i suppose if i am looking for uh, my uh, api key so suppose if i click api key so i'll i will get my api keys here okay so it is personal uh, so i must say that api key will be there so just store them and save it in your dot text folder and call them as per uh, your requirement okay so i am going to uh, utilize this api key as well as the user id and even you can regenerate the api key but i think if you already have the api key just utilize them and uh, do whatever you want okay so let's go for each and everything and how you can create the session id okay so all you have to do is like from pi a3 import star so uh, i am utilizing this uh this library where each and everything of uh, the rest api is available and it is coded well so from with the help of this library i can generate my session id so i need to call this stuff and from this i can utilize place order get my data okay get my web socket so each and everything you need to follow this library okay so from pi a3 import star and i have already done a video on dbm which is database manager so i have already stored each and every uh, credentials of mine in this alice db and i'm going to read this stuff okay so this alice db dot uh, dat which is database and this directory so i'm going to call this things and i'm going to read and i'm going to utilize the same okay so all you have to do is like you have to say db equals dbm dot open and uh, the name of the database okay so i am going to read this stuff and then i'm going to same utilize this uh, uh stuff like you know for alice blue to get the session id i need to give two things which is my username and api key not the password not the date of birth not anything just username and api key and i'm going to read this stuff so it is very much simple i have to say dbm username so it is already encrypted so i need to decode okay so i am just simply saying as in username you can also can say the same so username and rest you have to say about the api key okay so this is the way i have been stored so if you are storing just uh, be aware okay refer the video and store the same as if you are looking for and call this way and uh, what i have to say and one more thing if you don't want to get with the dbm just stored in dot txt folder your username uh, read this stuff uh, call this username api key in a different text folder okay and utilize the same 
so i been took my username api key and i will put this in alice variable okay so while calling you need to refer this syntax which is alice blue so a is in capital b is in small alice blue and you have to refer the same so you have to say username because i have to pass only two parameters so we are good to go so username api key and all i need is session so all i have to say is like whatever the id is there please print for me okay so session id will be there alice dot get session id okay and we are good to go so if you just print this and you have to run this things to generate this session id and particularly this uh, shell will contain this uh, session id session id so say so suppose if you are run uh, referring from another import say all you have to say from alis underscore session underscore id import star so if you refer this the library use is also if you are referring and the alis where the variable contains each and everything is also you are referring okay and the session id which i am talking about you can get from this things okay and you can uh, print or uh, get this things and we are good to go okay so if you refer uh, this certain this things uh, this session id i mean it is enough okay after this uh, you generated and you are all already logged in in your uh, alice blue website and if you are uh, generated you will get this session id this is how you will get so as you can see i have been whatever i have been already already generated it is giving me the same session id so i think we are good to go for 24 hours till midnight we are good to go so we can do whatever we wish for okay so you no need to print this stuff as well for this session id just keep this as it is okay now important stuff okay so suppose uh, which is your contact master so earlier when we are doing coding in a python we used to download e each and everything of our master contract and then exactly we need to like you know perform the operation so that's how uh, this api uh, this uh, like you know this application programming interface as this credentials and then your website which is allotted like you know you can trade only this segments and if the segment is active so you can uh, you know go for the trading purpose so if the segment is active and if you are trading you definitely have the master contract okay so what happens is suppose if you are getting in coding and if you are in in that folder especially it search for that folder and particular that csv file so if the csv file is already there so you can call the instrument symbol you can search the instrument symbol so wherever you are mentioning the symbol or the token or anywhere you require this folder so it is very much important so how i'm gonna like you know do these things and can download it is very much simple and at least for a day or for a month you require definitely this stuff so all i have to say uh, get contact master okay and uh, if i want say indices i have to say it this way and so suppose if i want nfo i have to say like you know nfo in this way so whatever uh, the ma contact master you want to trade or you want to utilize for data purpose or the web socket data you need to mention in this way okay so definitely if you are coding they definitely going to search wherever you are calling instrument symbol or anything where so that definitely an important stuff so if, if i am looking for indices so this is how I, i have to go so at least for a month for a day you can uh, you know you can at least download okay so it will be better so you can go with the mcx nsc nfo cds bsc so whatever you want you can call in this way so at least i required indices mcx nsc nfo so this is this are the contacts which i am looking for so i can download okay so simply you have to call this stuff and run okay so while generating the session id maybe uh, the things will also get downloaded so i think they are talking about this uh, you know this updation for atm so this you need to so if if i refer this indices so all of the contacts will be available which you can call out and uh, do whatever you looking for okay so just check this one so i think nfo is also downloaded okay so just download for a month for a day and when you are looking or any kind of a constant uh or uh, if you are following any kind of fair strand just download this stuff okay and uh, do you utilize this session for uh, for to call other things so as you can see everything is working perfect so this is have been have been uh, generated 
all of my folders so that's how you need to check and uh, just uh, try copy paste from the github and do check that everything is working from your requirement point of view okay so i must say that i'll wind it up here thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact that via whatsapp thank you